Here we go! Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on the DF9 turret placement from uh, Star Wars Episode 5. So it was seen in the Battle of Hoth, and it's also in the game Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's a usable weapon, and it's a pretty powerful thing, although not quite as powerful as the other one, which I can't remember the name of, but it'll come to me straight after I finish recording, I assure you. <laughs> so it's, like I said, a pretty pretty cool little thing. Um, it's got this snow surrounding it, which we, the snow isn't part of the tutorial, really. The tutorial's on the actual turret itself, which starts at where those diorite blocks are. Um, but the snow, we will do a little bit around, but it's completely up to you how much you want to do. If you want to like cover the thing in it, it's uh, completely your choice. So yeah, let's uh, get on with the build, and we'll just do it all in one take, I think. Uh, it should be easy enough. So yeah, let's go. Right, so starting off, I've got these materials. The polished diorite, smooth quartz block, stone, block of quartz, quartz stairs, smooth quartz stairs, diorite wall, iron bars, and white banner. Now we'll be building towards the purple and green crystals, that's going to be the front of the build. Now the actual kind of footprint of this build is going to be, again, depending on how much uh, snow you use really, is actually going to be about, I think it's eight blocks long, I would go the same width as well. Um, well, no, nine actually, nine wide. Uh, but we'll see when we actually uh, do the snow and stuff, but just to let you know how much approximately room you need. So if you start off with, uh, let's go to the center block, obviously you've not got this, but um, anywhere on the ground is fine. If you're in a snowy mat, that'd be uh, ideal, I suppose. Do uh, three, polished diorite, and then we're gonna do like a circle of that, just skipping out those edge blocks. So just like that. Now most of this on my reference model is submerged in the snow, so you won't see this, and I would recommend using this layer as where the snow would go up to. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And again, it's completely up to you, really. We're going to put a normal quartz stair on the middle ones. And then we're going to use smooth quartz on the edge ones and do those diagonally like this. So there you go. In the gap here, we're going to take smooth quartz block and just do a circle around like so. And then we're going to take the stone block, do one, two, three, four on all of the corners. Take the quartz block now. So the uh, just normal one, not smooth. One, two, three, um, and then do one, two, three, one, two, three, just on all four sides in the gap. Uh, diorite wall, one, two, one, two, keep going around. Obviously, with this being a symmetrical build, it's uh, a lot easier than a lot of them. Diorite wall here, and on all four sides, and then going to be in iron bars, just to give that sort of taper inwards as we go upwards. Um, so that's why we use those. And then we just use a white banner on the top block, like that. So you've got the neck already done, which is good. Take the smooth quartz block now, and we're gonna do one, two, uh, hang on one second. Oh yeah, three, four, and then diorite wall again, one, two, three, and four, and then we're gonna throw away the white banner for now, and get out a smooth quartz slab. And we're going to do one just on the side, one on the side there, and then one on the back. Take a iron trap door now, and we're going to do one there and one there, and then one here, one here, one here and there, one there and there. Okay. Next up, take the block of quartz, we're going to do three three, three, and then just do another three on the front. You notice I left the slab out there, just uh, bear with me with that, because I'm not sure if it is a slab there yet, but we will find that out shortly. In the gaps here, we can use polished diorite, one, two, three, and four. And then we now need snow layers, but not for the actual snow on the ground. This is gonna be part of the turret, and we, we use this to kind of make it a bit rounder. So it's two there, two there, two here, and two on the front grab white carpet as well. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now in this gap here, I would recommend just using uh, some sort of filler block. We could use a stone again, perhaps, and just fill in that there. And we're going to take the smooth quartz slab, do three, one, one, 
This is going to be snow layers again, but this time it's going to be one, two, and three. One, two, three, and again, three on each side. So you should get that. Now here, um, I might just run and check. I think it's a slab. Um, I don't usually do this, but let's just double check to make sure. Yeah, it is. It was just the angle that I took the picture of the build um, that I'm working from. It, you couldn't see the slab, so. Um, but once we place that slab, that's going to literally do it for the main build itself. So slab goes there. Um, and then we just have to put the, uh, the turret on now. So we use diorite wall, polished blackstone wall, one of those. And then a dark oak fence gate. And then this bit is subjective, really. You can use either a wither skeleton skull or a polished blackstone wall, depending on how thick you want the barrel to be. So you can either have it like that. Or you can have it like that. Um, whichever works for you is fine. Um, I actually kind of like this a little bit better, so I might I might leave it um, rather than having it like that one. So, yeah, I guess uh, that's everything for the main build. Now, in terms of snow layers, I'm just going to add a little bit of a decoration. Um, I would recommend using like full snow blocks for a bit of it just because it's going to take a while to place. So, I think in mine, I did like snow blocks on each of the corners. Um, and then, obviously, I just built up the snow layers around that. I think I did one there, built up here, down to there a bit, and then, like, sort of a similar thing. Just making it look kind of natural. Obviously, if you're using this as a standalone piece, you would need to do this kind of decoration around it, um, probably. But, you know, if you're using it in a diorama, obviously, this is going to fit into the terrain you've already made. So, uh, obviously, you can just ignore this part. And there we go. If we build this bit up a bit further, you can kind of see just how the terrain is sloping up. I think this is actually pretty close to what I had in the original model, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, just something like this. And then if we just uh, do another layer around this side, we can finish this off. Uh, let's, let's say that one goes a bit higher, actually. So yeah, obviously, um, completely up to you how you want to do it. Let's say something like uh, something like that is good. And yeah, that is the DF9. I've forgotten the name. I think it's the F9 uh, Hoff turret. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next build. Have a great day. Stay safe. Uh, goodbye. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Massive thanks to all the current Patreon supporters who help make content such as what you just watched possible. Please check out the link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's awesome rewards on offer for your contributions too. So thanks.